So then, hello, I'm afraid Professor Arnold isn't here today. Yeah, and who are you exactly? Well, I am your covering tutor for today. Hello, I am the doctor. And no, I am not a drug dealer, it's just my name. If you've got a problem with that, we can take this outside. I know I don't look my age, but I warn you, I do know Vinicio Adikidu. Good. Well then, welcome to cosmology, the study of the universe. Well, we're not going to be studying our universe, but others, as well as what makes a parallel universe. The thing with the universe is that it's everything but there are boundaries. When we draw a diagram of parallel universes, we tend to draw them from line to line, and of course the gaps represent the void between the two. This is not the case, however, because there is no left or right, up or down in space, or our universe in that matter. Our universe and all the others are like cubes, each surface in connection with another. And you can imagine them all stacked up, millions of them, billions even. And once more, we may not be at the centre of it. We may not be the alternative universe. We are not the default. Let's say, maybe there isn't one at all. But who knows? But today, I will tell you the truth. What's going on? Two things. One, class has ended as you were 45 minutes late. Two, you completely isolated everyone with your universe gibberish. But it's not gibberish if it's the truth. Sure. Keep telling yourself that, Doctor. So how was your class today? You really want to know? Well, of course. Well, I was teaching them cosmology and- Dr. Smith and Dr. Rosman. I'm sorry to interrupt you both, but have you checked the news? Of course not. Ah, oh, too much fake news, and they can be so biased these days. Lonzo, what's happened? Our top story for tonight. Discoveries of a strange, unidentified object that was spotted by scientists orbiting around Saturn. It is currently unclear what it is, why it is here, and could this be more signs of alien life? Planet Earth has had a rich history with extraterrestrial encounters, so why is this sighting causing so much commotion? Still mad at you? A reasonable hypothesis? Let's put it to the test. Are you still mad at me? Yep. Oh, seems like you were right, Lonzil. <sighs> so anyway, where are we going? Saturn. Is this about that strange UFO sighting? It's like one big bat signal for the Doctor. Every time something stands out in the universe, the Doctor intervenes. It is his life story. This is quite interesting. Really quite spectacular. This ship is really unique. Doctor, I suggest we split up and look around. And the question I have is why are we here anyway? What is the sole purpose of boarding this ship? The reason why, Erica, is because of the giant doomsday gun built into the ship. At the moment, there are no life signs, so having a doomsday ship floating around with no crew seems, well, very dangerous. And anyone can hijack this. How the heck do you know that? Oh, I see. Lonzil? Here you go. 
What's this for? Well, I thought, you know what, it's about time I gave you, you know, your own sonic screwdriver, so, you know, here you go, but don't make me regret it, eh? Fair enough. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> don't mention it. Anyway, can you bypass the firewall in the structural mainframe? Got it. You see, this ship has been sent here through a time shift. A temporary rip in space which should not happen. Time interference is so irritating. Oh yeah, I know. So the giant doomsday cannon thing? It's on a timer. Damn it. Can you find the ship's main control room or the bridge? I can't seem to access the map system. Well, this room says control room on it. How come I can read this? TARDIS translator. It's quite convenient. Did you not notice? I'm not speaking your human English. Wait, what? You're speaking Gallifrey talk? Gallifreyan. What have you got for me, Lonzil? How do you change this thing to the second setting? Oh, um, just, uh, flick the small switch at the bottom of it. So, surprise, surprise, this ship with its deadly L-A-S-E-R, Weapon of Doom, is on a timer and heading for Earth. It's pronounced laser. Light amplification by simulating emissions of radiation, is it not? Yeah, okay, whatever. So, can we shut off the engines or change its course? That is a no can do. The directional pilot controls are fully deadlocked. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Good job, Doctor! What? It was Lonzil! Why do you always tell me what's right and wrong? Because when you travel with me, Erica, you will witness things that either have a positive or negative impact on your life. I have been around for God knows how many years, and I have made so many mistakes in my life, and so many, and- Both of you, stop bickering! We're being boarded. Life force detected. Read the control room. Oh, great. What? What is it? Daleks. What are Daleks? <sighs> A Dalek is. Ugh, it, it's hell on wheels. They have wheels? Not anymore. Life form scanned as two Time Lords and a human. Find them, capture the Time Lords, exterminate the human. This is ridiculous. Shh. Hey, I mean, a ventilation shaft? Really? Well, there is a reason why they are so iconic. Anyway, follow me. Okay, here we are. The bridge. The door is still deadlocked and so are the controls. Not to mention the Dalek things are still chasing us and going to kill us. To be fair, they said they'd only kill you. Not if I can help it. I don't want to die. Listen to me. It's okay. Lonzil, you know what to do. Listen, Erica. I cannot guarantee your safety when it comes to the Daleks. The Daleks have played a huge part in my early lives. And the things I have seen them do... Well, it's... horrid. You made that choice when you came with me to travel. However, if the Daleks only want to capture me and Lonzil, then I am sure we can come to some arrangement. Good thinking, Doctor. The Daleks have always been so very diplomatic. Shut up, Lonzil. Erica, will you stand with me? One more time. You will be safe. Do you understand? Yes. Daleks approaching! The door! 
special weapons unit needs reloading. Exterminate the door. I obey. Doctor, a pleasure it is again. You can't exactly say likewise, can I? Davros. You might detect it! Exterminate! No! Stop, Davros! Stop this now! Cease fire! Right then, Doctor. We have matters to attend to. Davros, seriously. I've had enough. You warned me about Jerome Harper, and that was far enough, calling me from the TARDIS. Then, you tried to kill me again on that forest moon with the Carleds. I don't understand what you're talking about. But if it settles you, then I don't inform you out of curiosity or concern for your well-being. That's moderately enlightening. You must understand we do not wish to become extinct. And as our most formidable enemy, you have the capability to wipe out millions of us. Therefore... You can save us from another oncoming force. Oh, uh, no, no, not this Predator Protocol again. Predator Protocol? Yeah, it's when these tin cans are too wimpy to get the job done. They then get me to do it instead for them. Sounds like a broken marriage. Let's not go there, please. Look, Davros, all I need to do is turn off the timer for this cannon. It's no big deal. You don't understand, do you? What was that? What was what? That didn't sound right. Lonzo, shut it down! I'm on it. That must have been triggered remotely. Lonzo, how long till it fires? We have about six minutes. Identification scan complete! You must forgive me, Doctor, but after many attempts of deception, I had to verify who you all are. What are the results? Human Erica Wells, age 21 years, Time Lord, Title Unknown, Age, Information Unknown. Don't worry, I'm not as old as you think. I have it. Voice systems back online. Well, what do you know? That could have been helpful earlier. Computer, how long has this ship been in service for? 118 years, 7 hours, 12 minutes, and currently 35 seconds. Why does it matter? I disabled the cannon. Lonzil? Yes, Doctor? Forgive me if this is a bad time and all, but what is your real name? Excuse me? The Dalek didn't know, and trust me when I say they know their stuff. I'm just curious. Well, Lonzel is my grandfather's name. I was named after my father, but he once murdered dozens upon dozens of his own people, so I changed my name. Who was your father? My mother was called Faris. My father... <laughs> He called himself the Aurorus. Erica, stand behind me. Now. Why? What is happening? It's funny, really. I always wanted to call myself the Aurorus. Like how you call yourself the Doctor. Doctor. Whoa. Uh, Doctor. Y your hand. Y your hand is... Playing up again, Doctor? I thought it might. I am so good at predicting things. No. Not now. Stop it. Stop it, I say. No. No. No! The Doctor is regenerating! What? How? Please, someone help him. What is happening? Allow me to tell you. Allow me to tell you. The Doctor to save our universe had to destroy a time link between our universe and a non-linear alternative. By doing so, his body failed him. 
He thinks he had to change, but really it was just mind over matter. He changed into the man we all see before us, but that time link never happened in our space-time history. In real life, the Doctor never changed, but here he is. Changed, and now time is trying to keep up with him. He's been in a fixed pause regeneration for too long now. Thing is, this has never happened before. So who knows what the outcome is going to be? Well, maybe I do. But why won't you help him then? Help him! Erica! Ar Stand! Back! <laughs> what? I'm... I'm alive! <laughs> yes! I'm alive! <laughs> oh... Oh dear... Yes... Yes, Doctor... Oh dear indeed... What is that? You see, Erica... This is the remaining regeneration energy to which the Doctor has. It looks like he's been suppressing the energy for too long and now it's all been released. The energy must have expelled out of the Doctor's body and here it is. God knows how many lives the Time Lords have given him over the last thousand years. Lonzel! Aurorus! Get away from that! No. Lonzel! We... We were friends! Don't do this! No, 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 no! No, we are not, Doctor! No, we are not friends! Well, at least that is the way I see it. You fell for my little plan, dear old Doctor, and might I say I am so thrilled that this day has finally come. You're a bloody psycho! What the hell did you want from him? You see, ever since the passing of the Doctor's friend, the Master, the Grand High President of Gallifrey ordered me to gain the remaining lives of the longest living Time Lord of all time and resurrect the Master. So, all of this was to gain my regeneration to bring back my late friend. You were so vulnerable, Doctor, and you put your full trust in me. You opened your hearts to me. The one Time Lord other than yourself who you could trust. The one who thought that the chain event of your actions on Gallifrey was not your fault. The one person who thought your banishment was unjustified. You're an outlaw, Doctor. You should not even have your TARDIS. 
Only the Master can restore the peace and prosperity to Gallifrey. Just look at the reality of this now. This is your last life, Doctor. And I have the choice whether to kill you or not. No. You won't. You know what? You're right. I won't kill you. No. That I shall vow for the rest of my days. But I will be seeing you again, Doctor. And I will kill those who mean the world to you. Friends. Loved ones. Family. I will make you suffer a thousand times over, to which you will then beg me to strike you down. You are sick. Yep. <laughs> we trusted you. <laughs> Trust, Erica, is nothing more than a promise waiting to fall apart. Trust is just a tool to know more, to understand more about someone, and it can be used in whatever way you like. Where did they come from? Meet my friends. You remember them, Doctor. We met them before. What? Take the human, but leave the Doctor. I want his last life to be fueled with loss and grief. Wait, what? All this time, this time I never thought I would, I don't know, I know you don't care, and I know you hate me, but all this time, I've always known that my last battle will be the one where I lost. You may have lost your associate, Doctor, but the battle has only just begun. There's a far bigger event you will be a part of. It is you, isn't it? Arterera, I lost again. My best friend is gone. It is temporary. W what did you say? You have lost your friend today, but not truly lost. And now, the one you call the master will return. Do not see this as an end. There is so much to prepare for. Do not see this as a 
has a lost war. This battle is lost, but the war is yet to begin. Over the years, you have known it is building up to this moment. The moment where which all things come together. The moment where everything has been taken away from you and taken to the one place you cannot go. So, Erica is not truly lost. Death has not met her today. She is gone beyond the star. Where? Can you not see? No. Your grief has blinded you. Your friend will be a part of the oncoming war. She has been taken to the place where of yours have been taken to Gallifrey the whole world the place you are banished from but doctor I must warn you that the events that will take place will not go the way you think as this time your soul could sleep forever do me a favour, take Davros back to his spaceship. I've got to take a trip home. So, where does this leave us off then? Well, let me tell you, I'm coming home. To the place where it all began centuries ago. And you know what? I'm glad because that is where it shall end as well. Let me make this clear though, endings are not as bad as they claim, and the story does not have to be over. In a way, we're all stories, fiction and non-fiction in perfect harmony, facts and anecdotes mumbled up, the stuff that makes us who we are, and isn't that the beauty of it all? And yes, one day that will end. But it's the legacy we leave behind which makes us who we are, which defines the journey we have made, and the way we will always be remembered. <laughs>